I thought it might be useful to give you a narrated version of this, and I added a feature <clears throat> additionally as well, just to give you a better explanation for what I sort of dreamt of, um, but couldn't couldn't build back in the 90s. Um, so the idea here is that every variable or feature of a risk, uh, every factor, um, you know, is a dot on the screen. And um, a individual risk is a collection or a constellation of 30 to 50 dots in the way that I've, I've thought about it. Um, the color of the dots indicates how predictive on a univariate basis only um, each factor is of uh, loss frequency or pure premium or some outcome measure that we're, we're considering. The height of the chart reflects um, how often or how prevalent that particular feature is in the in the portfolio. So each dot represents one attribute about one risk, um, but the collective height is across the portfolio. So in this simulation, I use 10,000 dots. If you assume there's 50 um, dots per, um, there's what 2,000 um, risks in this particular portfolio. Um, and it redraws and it sadly modifies the, the histogram um, based on uh, additional random data. So it's, it's, it's not meant to be cumulative in any way. Each redraw is just meant to be a different illustration. So when you see the lines being drawn, um, that's the constellation of an individual risk in the portfolio. So just a single risk. And, um, you know, there's 30 to 50 uh, features or variables that identify a single risk in the portfolio. And you can get a feeling for kind of where it belongs and where it sits in the, in the portfolio. And again, this isn't based on real data. This is just meant to be an animation of something that I, I, I visualized um, at some point in the past, a long time ago, actually. Um, it's so cool that it's, it's possible with today's technology. Now, with my prior post, I mentioned all sorts of other complications. Um, but, um, you know, I'd, I'd love to build a, a series of compounds. If these are the, the uh, atoms, uh, I'd like to, you know, understand what compounds drive risk performance. Um, but, uh, you know, also being able to extrapolate that across the portfolio and compare it to how we're pricing risk um, through the rate making and pricing processes um, so we can get a sense of what the desirability surface looks like. And by that, I just mean where are we pricing well and where are we not pricing well. Um, Last point is when you look at the color of an individual risk um, in this animation, you know, it's either greener or yellower or redder. That's meant to be a, sort of an equal weighting of each of the factors, um, you know, of the individual risk to give you a sense for where it lives. So the one you're seeing now is just right up the center um, of, of the distribution. Um, if, um, you know, we give it a second, we'll see this one's at the greener end of the spectrum. Um, it'll, it'll give you a sense of where on a univariate basis that particular risk lives. So I thought this would be a powerful tool to help quantify and quantize underwriting, and I hope you like it.